is going to be basically about fan questions. Um, but before I get into that, uh, some bad news that I should share with you. Um, I talked about it a little bit on my Instagram today. Um, but most of you won't see this until tomorrow or Friday when I post it, whenever I get the time to do it. Um, I have been wanting East Coast Ranchu for a long time. And since I think May, um, I have been talking about getting them. And in July, um, I decided I was going to get them, I was ready. And every time I got ready to get them, something went wrong and I couldn't. Um, I think it's happened like four times. The first time I tried, um, something came up with the family and I had to use the money for something else that had to be taken care of very quickly. The second time I was going to get them, um, my college decided that my iPad that I was taking my exams on was no longer sufficient and I had to get the newest iPad. And I had to use that money to get the stupid iPad. The third time I was getting ready to get them, um, our HVAC system went out and we lost all of our air conditioning and our heating. That was devastating for my family because replacing the entire unit was a $5,000 cost and we, you know, don't have $5,000 to replace the unit. I mean, who keeps $5,000 laying around? Nobody. Um, so, you know, anybody that knows me knows that I am asthmatic. I've had asthma since I was born and I don't do well. Uh, in hot weather, uh, I can't breathe. Um, actually, while our air was out, I had to leave. Um, I had to stay with someone else while we were trying to figure out how we were going to come up with five grand. Thankfully, I decided that I was going to get a second opinion and someone else came and looked at uh, our unit and they were able to get it up and running. Not for five grand, but basically for the amount that I had saved for the fish. So there that went. And then this week, uh, I was going to order them Friday when I got paid this week. And I started looking today um, at my uh, Tetra tank. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, uh, that tank is very, very old. And it has seen better days. And the silicone is shrinking and it's getting way too thin for my liking and it's making me really nervous. And the stand itself is not sturdy anymore. There's been some kind of leak in the past because I can see, uh, I can see uh, where that has happened. And you know, at this point, I thought that I could get a couple more months out of it. And I thought that I could maybe end up replacing the aquarium entirely, but it's not looking like that. I have had most of those tetras uh, for quite some time, even before I had these goldfish. And I can't risk having, you know, a leaking aquarium or, you know, something horrible happening to that aquarium um, because it was my luck at will. And I don't have anywhere to put them right now um, except the 40 gallon breeder that was going to be used as the raunchy tank. Um, and it sucks, but I had to make the decision today. Uh, was I going to risk the Tetras and, you know, get the raunchy? Or, you know, was I going to save the Tetras and just have to suck it up and, you know, wait until I was at a point that I could get the raunchy? I won't lie, 
I thought about um, pros and cons of, of each of the uh, possible outcomes. And I thought that it was best to move the fish now. Um, so this weekend, the Tectoros will be moving. And I didn't want to do it, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to. So, uh, Cynthia at East Coast Ranchu, I'm sorry. Uh, I have been talking about these fish for so long, but I, I can't right now. It's just, I don't know. It seems like I'm not meant to have these fish <laughs> at this point. It's just been ridiculous how difficult it has been for me to get these fish. I'm kind of bummed about that, I won't lie, because anybody that knows me knows that I've been looking forward to these raw shoes for a long time. But life happens and it sucks, and um, I'll get over it. So, anyway, on to happier things. Um, so, I tend to get a lot of fan questions. They're usually repetitive, and I thought that I would just make this video and answer them all at once. But I did have um, two particular users uh, that responded to my post uh, about doing this video. Uh, I would go ahead and I'm going to answer those questions and I'm just going to answer what I generally get asked a lot um, and we'll go from there. So, uh, Eddie's Goldies on Instagram asked, if you were to have an unexpected event such as fish passing away one by one, would you continue this hobby, and how would you deal with it? Well, Eddie, I can't help but think about Jenny at Stolen Gold Aquatics when you asked me that. Jenny has had such a terrible time um, the past couple months with her goldfish. Um, and if you don't know about that, then you can check her out. I love Jenny, and um, she's amazing, and she, she, she gives amazing information in her videos. For me, uh, when my first goldfish passed, I took a break, but you have to realize that I only had one fish. So that was fairly easy to do at that point, to take a break. Um, you know, now um, I lost Bernard back in March from a uh, swim bladder defect, and I was hurt that I had to put him down. But, um, it never really gets easy for you to lose a fish. But in my case, you know, I kept going then. And I plan to keep going. Um, if that were to happen to me, I can't imagine what Jenny is feeling. But, um, I would hope that I would continue. Um, with me, I have a lot of... Um, health issues, asthma, hypertension, um, anxiety, but for me these fish, they help me with that. They're like my, my medication. I mean, they just, they keep me rounded and I don't have anxiety anymore. My blood pressure is normal. Um, so, I can't, I don't ever think of myself as quitting. I don't think I could. I'm just so used to them. I don't think I could stop doing it. That would be so, that's just, I can't even imagine not having aquariums. Like, water changes is like my second job. Like, I do that all the time. And I generally don't even think about it. That would be very difficult for me. Um, as to how I would deal with it, I mean, hopefully I would be able to figure out what's wrong and what's causing the issue, and I'll be able to treat them um, and hopefully save what I could. Uh, nobody really wants to think about that. That's that's one of the, the cons to fish keeping. Um, another thing I was asked was uh, the Truth Sun off Instagram as well. Asked me my favorite goldfish and why. I'm not sure if they mean 
my favorite fish that I have or my favorite breed. So I'm just going to answer both. My favorite breed of goldfish. Um, you know, everybody thinks that it's Aranda because I have a lot of Arandas. And that's not a lie. I mean, I love my Arandas. I love all my fish. But it's not my favorite. Um, a lot of people think it's Roken because Josephine was my first. Um, and that's not true either. And a lot of people think it's my butterfly telescopes because I tend to take more pictures of them and put them on my Instagram. And that's not true either. <laughs> so actually my favorite is Fantail. Um, and that's mostly the reason is because Fantail goldfish was the first goldfish I ever had. Um, the goldfish that lived 14 years, he was a Fantail and he will forever be my favorite. He is also my favorite fish. Um, as for, you know, the fish that's in my collection right now, I don't think I could pick a favorite. Like, that's like asking a parent to, to you know, pick their favorite child. I just don't, I don't do it. And, um, but, you know, Johnny, he's dead and gone now, but he will always be my favorite just because he was the first. Moving on to just general questions that I get asked. Um, I get asked a lot um, if I will be getting any new fish. And originally I was going to say yes, I was going to get some ECRs. But right now, I don't foresee me getting any new fish. Um, I'm pretty much maxed out for space right now. Uh, the last 40 gallon breeder that I bought is pretty much all that I have uh, room for. So I, I don't see that happening. Uh, unless something happens and I happen to get a bigger space or something, maybe, but not seeing it. Uh, also get asked a lot if I'm going to get any more tanks. No. <laughs> Just what I said, I can't. I, I don't have a room right now unless I somehow rearrange this room. Uh, this room's all I got, <laughs> which is kind of bad. I get asked a lot if I'm going to get a pond or if I have a pond. Um, and the answer is no. <laughs> um, I don't have a pond. Uh, a lot of people thought I did for some reason, um, but here in Kentucky, that's just not a good idea. It's just not a good idea to have an outdoor goldfish pond. <laughs> um, there is so many predators around here. I don't think I could fight them all. I mean, you know, here we've got hawks, we have eagles, um, we have... Uh, owls, we have bears, coyotes, wolves, possums, I mean, you name it, and we have it. And I think for me, it would be more time consuming trying to keep all those things away than, than to enjoy the fish. So that's probably not going to happen here. Um, there's just too many things to consider um, outside. I would sacrifice so many fish. Um, if I did. Um, another question I get asked a lot is, do I have any uh, other pets besides these fish? Yes. <laughs> um, actually, I have two cats, and if you follow me on Instagram, you see them a lot in my Insta story. <laughs> um, I have one. Um, he is an orange tabby, and his name's Garfield because he pretty much is Garfield. He eats and sleeps, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, um, Garfield is about 10 years old. He was a stray um, that we had at our old house. My mom started feeding him. He stuck around. Um, when we moved, he actually jumped in the back of my dad's truck and went with us. So, we kept him. <laughs> and since we've been here, he started you know, getting older, and he's starting to be more of a house cat. Um, I also adopted uh, Alex. Um, he was hanging around here almost right after we moved here. 
Um, and I didn't really know who he belonged to. About two years later, after I adopted him, uh, my neighbor came over and told me that it, he was actually her cat. Yeah, thought he was missing until she saw him on my, my deck. So, that was interesting. And then she gave him to me because he was happier here and then they moved. So, I have Alex. And here they are if you want to see them. The only pets I have is just the two cats and all these fish. <laughs> so I get asked if I have any, uh, if any of my friends here are fish keepers. No. <laughs> um, I don't know of anybody here that keeps fish, which is sad, but I don't. Um, I am the lone ranger when it comes to fish keepers. Um, none of my friends keep fish. None of them have ever had fish. They know nothing about fish. Um, here you go fishing, but as far as keeping aquariums and, you know, doing that kind of thing, it doesn't happen. And, uh, generally the first thing they do when they come here is they ask to see my goldfish. So, um, that's generally what brings them here, too. They want to see them. Um, generally the butterfly telescopes... Um, are very popular because here you can't get butterfly telescopes. Uh, nobody has seen them before uh, in Kentucky. So they find that very interesting when they come here. That's the first thing that they want to see just because they've never seen it before. Uh, so they're very, very popular uh, amongst family and friends that come over. The last question that I have um, I get asked about it a lot, and I guess because I never really went into it before, but uh, I get asked how I got into fish keeping. Um, as I spoke about earlier, Johnny the Fantail, he was my first goldfish. When I was two years old, I went into Walmart with my parents, and we just so happened to go buy the fish. Uh, I saw Johnny in his little tank, and I was like, oh, mommy, he's so cute. I want him. Um, and she let me get him. Um, she says to this day that she should have never gotten him because it started all of this. <laughs> um, maybe she's right, but I love it anyway. So she pretty much kept up with him um, my entire childhood. Uh, I had him and another one just like him. His name was Roy. Uh, he lasted until I think he was 10 years old when he passed away. Um, but Johnny was 14. So um, She pretty much did the water changes and the cleanings until I was, I think, about five. And then she really involved me in doing it. You know, helping her clean the gravel and helping her do this and that. Um, and then by the time I was like eight, I was pretty much doing it myself. So I learned very quickly. Um, my mom did have, she did have fish when she was younger. Um, I think it was just like freshwater community or something. I'm not entirely sure. I've never really asked her. But she knew enough to take care of him. Um, and then she passed it on to me. Um, she didn't know a lot, but she knew enough to keep him alive. So... There you go. Well, he's kind of, you know, the reason that I started this. He's why that, you know, he's the reason I have all these fish. Um, and, you know, when I stopped, when I stopped goldfish keeping and fish in general, um, he passed away um, about six months after we moved into this house. Uh, his aquarium actually was right where the laptop is sitting right now filming me. And... He lived out his final days here. Um, a few months before he passed away, uh, my childhood dog passed away. I got her a few years after I got Johnny. She had bladder cancer and she passed away. So when I lost Johnny, I was... Uh, 
I was pretty devastated. Um, I lost both of my childhood pets within a couple months of each other, and he was more of a shock than she was. Um, you know, I had a warning with her. You know, I knew she was sick. We took her to the doctor. She got diagnosed, but, you know, with Johnny, he was fine, and, you know, I came in one one evening to feed him, and he was belly up. And I still, to this day, don't know what killed him. Um, back then, I didn't know a whole lot about fish disease and things like that, like I know now. But, you know, even looking it up and thinking about, you know, what could have caused him to die so quickly, I, I had no idea. Nothing new had been done to the tank. Nothing had been introduced to him. Um, I have no idea. And I get asked that a lot. You know, what killed Johnny? What killed your first? I have no idea. And I wish I did. I think that it would give me some peace of mind at least. But I don't know. And um, I'll probably never know. But I do know that he was 14. Um... That's how long I had him. I do not know how old he was when I purchased him. So he was actually older than 14. But he was 14 with me. Anyway. So my lovely Johnny. He is um, he is why I started this. And you know my parents. They never thought that he was going to live that long. Um, they thought you know they were going to get me a goldfish. To, to hush me basically. Because I was asking for a dog then. And they wouldn't give me one. Um, so they basically got me him to make me hush. And they never thought that he would, you know, they got him when I was two. And he lived past my my 16th birthday. So he was with me a long, long time. And um, they say, they joke about it now. Um, that maybe they shouldn't have went to Walmart that day. And they shouldn't have got me Johnny. That they wouldn't have to not have all these aquariums everywhere. But they didn't joke about it when he died. Um, they were just as heartbroken as I was. And they, they say they don't get attached to fish. And that's silly. But it, uh, it hurt them too when he passed away. And, you know, even now, uh, they have their favorite fish that they like. My dad, he is really attached to Knight, um, or Big Head. That's what he calls him. He will not call him by his real name. He will call him Big Head. Um, which he's Miranda, so I guess that's fitting. Um, he's also attached to Spike, my black moor. And he used to have a black moor when he was very young, and it jumped out of the tank and committed suicide. So, um, Spike's his, uh, his prodigy, I guess. Um, he's the reason I even got the black moor, or my dad wanted one. Um, my mom is very attached to my butterflies, and, but mostly she is very attached to beauty. Um, my blind Duranda, she's very attached to beauty. Um, so... Even though they say they're not attached or they don't like these fish, they do. Um, she also enjoys watching the Tetras and she's really attached to Flame. She likes Flame. But I'm going to stop talking about Johnny because it's made him sad. Um, for the longest time, you couldn't mention his name to me. Uh, I would start brawling. And what's funny is... They used to tell me that I wasn't uh, emotional, and I'm not. Like, I'm very uh, stern, and um, it's very, very hard to make me cry. But when you start talking about Johnny, I get a little choked up. So I'm going to stop. Um, that's all really the fan questions that I have this time around. Uh, if you have anything that you want to ask me, then shoot me a message, comment below, check out my Instagram. I will answer you. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything better to do. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, I do, but I still answer you. So, <laughs> um, 
And so I'll go pout in the corner and I'll get over my little sadness spell and I'll talk to y'all later. So see you next time.